Lawyers move to disbar Comey after docs reveal he lied to Congress. I hope former FBI Director James Comey has enjoyed living the free life and covering up Hillary Clinton's crimes over time, because that may be coming to end real soon. Of all people, Comey should know you can't make contradictory statements or lie while under oath. The consequences are real. As such, an attorney named Ty Clevengers has filed a grievance with the New York Bar Association against Comey where he used to serve as a U.S. attorney and still retains a license to practice law, according to the Washington Times. The heart of the issue outlined in Clevenger's grievance is the fact that Comey testified during the September 2016 hearing that he had not predetermined the outcome of the investigation into former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's private email server prior to his announcement that there'd be no criminal charges in July 2016. That assertion has since been proven false by the revelation that Comey had prepared draft statements exonerating Clinton of wrongdoing several months prior to interviewing her or more than a dozen others associated with the scandal. This rather important discrepancy was discovered by the Senate Judiciary Committee as they looked into Comey's handling of the Clinton investigation and subsequent termination by President Donald Trump and was noted in an August 2017 letter sent by committee chair Senator Chuck Grassley to FBI Director Christopher Wray seeking confirmation, which while heavily redacted, was nevertheless recently produced. Insofar as Mr. Comey gave materially false testimony to Congress, it appears that he violated Rules 1.0 W, 3.3 A, 1, and 8.4 of the New York Rules of Professional Conduct wrote Clevenger in his grievance letter to the Bar's Departmental Disciplinary Committee. Clevenger's letter also sought to renew prior grievances he had filed against former Attorney General Loretta Lynch regarding the potential pressure and interference she exerted on Comey over the investigation and alleged destruction of evidence in the case, such as laptops possessed by Clinton associates. Clevenger has also filed a separate grievance with the Maryland State Bar and got a circuit court judge to order the association to open an investigation into three of those Clinton associates, David Kendall, Cheryl Mills and Heather Samuelson, who are alleged to have deleted emails and destroyed their laptops which contained pertinent information regarding Clinton's email scandal, according to Zero Hedge. It will be interesting to see how this all plays out and if Comey really does end up being disbarred by the state of New York. In a perfect world, that will be but the first of many steps toward holding him and others accountable for their swampy behavior in regards to letting Clinton off the hook for her violations of the laws and departmental rules regulating government officials, among other things. According to Fox News, in a series of tweets, Trump also swiped at the Justice Department, seeming to suggest they review what he called an apparent fix. Wow, FBI confirms report that James Comey drafted letter exonerating crooked Hillary Clinton long before investigation was complete, Trump tweeted. Many people not interviewed, including Hillary Clinton herself. Comey stated under oath that he didn't do this obviously a fix? Where's Justice Department? Trump followed up on Twitter with, as it has turned out, James Comey lied and leaked and totally protected Hillary Clinton. He was the best thing that ever happened to her. Amen, but that certainly doesn't say a lot about Comey and his character does it, or does it?